Um, feels good to get back up on stage, guys. I, uh, I just got back from Europe. I uh, spent three months in Europe traveling around. Went to 17 cities and 11 countries. It was great. I uh, went to Germany, Spain, Italy, Amsterdam. Now, I smoke weed in LA, but I think the highest thing I've ever done, meaning like the stupidest thing I've ever done while high was in Amsterdam. I don't know if that's like a coincidence, but it's just facts. Like, I was at one of those coffee shops, you know? You can go smoke a little weed, play some pool, drink, hang out. I went to go use the bathroom, and it's a typical, you know, European bathroom. It's on the smaller side, right? You walk in, there's the, the stalls by the door behind it, maybe like an arm's length away, or the urinals. And uh, so I'm taking a pee in the first stall right by the door, because I'm lazy at this point. And uh, this other guy walks in, right? And my high brain told me to stop peeing mid-pee, <laughs> look up at him, and go, oh, and then scoot over two stalls for him, like that was some normal shit to do. Like I was trying to be courteous, and it was a tight squeeze, I didn't want him to have to squeeze behind me, you know, maybe rub his junk up against my butt, but he didn't say shit. Didn't say one word, and at first I was offended. And I was like, what the fuck? I just did this crazy ass shit for you, you're not gonna say thank you? you know? And then I, I thought about it for a little bit, and I was like, maybe he didn't say anything, because he didn't know what to say, because that was the weirdest fucking shit he's ever seen in his entire life. Like, I, I thought about it from his perspective, and like, here he is just trying to take a normal piss in peace, and all he sees is my dumb face go, oh, here you go. That's your toilet, my bad. <laughs> but uh, it was cool, it was cool. Europe is different. Not better or worse, just different. You, know? you notice it in the small things, very subtle differences. Like uh, traveling, traveling's a lot different, it's a lot easier, there's a lot more ways to travel. Um, they don't fuck around either. Like they skip all the extra shit. Like even when when you're on the plane, they don't hit you with that extra shit like we do. Like have you ever sat in the exit row on a plane in the U.S. Right? Flight attendant comes up, goes, "Hey sir, how you doing?" I just wanted to let you know you are seated in the exit row, and uh, I just came over here to make sure that in case of an emergency, you'd be willing to help assist today. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like we say yes because you don't want to look like a bitch. And you know, there's like a 99.9% .9 chance there's not gonna be an emergency, so you say yes, but in reality, it's like, probably fucking nah. <laughs> it's like, I bought my ticket online, you sat me here, and now all of a sudden I'm qualified to be saving lives? That doesn't make any sense. You know? I don't think going like this on a computer screen is enough training for such a position, you know? And let's be real, if the plane is plummeting to the ground at 1,000 miles per hour, I'm gonna be just as scared as everybody else because of where I'm sitting, now I gotta come up with some shit for us to do? What do they expect me to do? Make a goddamn speech? I would fuck that shit up. It's too much pressure. Plane starts going down. Oh, nobody panic. I'm a trained professional. As you can see, I have these three extra inches of leg space up here, which has miraculously provided me the knowledge of what to do in this situation. And, uh, oh, we're so fucked. Oh, God. We're so fucked. We're gonna die. Oh, God, no. no. Who wants to fuck? Who wants to fuck? I don't care. I'll fuck a guy. Oh, God. This is it. I don't want to die. This is it. I'm too young. I'm too young. Oh, God. Why are you people just staring at me? Somebody start sucking some dick. This is it. With my luck, all of a sudden, the plane would level out, right? You know? the pilot would get on and be like, oh, sorry about that, folks. Just a little bit of turbulence. If everybody could please return to their seats and fasten their seatbelts. <laughs> Yeah. That's scary. Did he just say he'd fuck a guy? <laughs> My name's Connor Wallman. Thank you guys.